Hello, everyone. We're back. The long map. Having anticipated Queen Alencia's attack, the majority of Duke Ludvec's forces left Felleray. The troops stationed at Castle Felleray were merely the bait with which to lure Joffrey and his troops away from Melior. In Joffrey's absence, Ludvec's objective is nothing less than to take the royal palace and Queen Alencia with it. Lucia, foreseeing a possible attack on the capital, arranged for Queen Alencia and Princess Leanne to be secretly moved to Fort Alpia. Yet Lucia herself is unable to evade Duke Ludvec's agents. She is captured in the dead of night while attempting to contact an informant. Queen Alincia receives the sad news the next morning. Apologies. Had a credit card email. So, we're guessing that flare. I'm um, audible? Cool. That flare sent up from Joffrey's troops means Ludwig plans to come for your majesty. He's probably marching his troops toward this fortress as we speak. Since it's come to this, I'd like to stick around and help. Let me know if you need me. See, thank you ever so much, Sohar. I have one more question. What about Lucia? Have you heard from her? Is she safe? We found a man's body in the village safe house. We believe he was her messenger. We also found this. No, this is, this is Lucia's hair. But how? Well, we assume that Ludovic infiltrated her network of spies and captured her. This is his way of letting us know. It also means she's still alive, which means we can still save her, Queen Lindsay. It's up to you to determine the best course of action. Yes, yes, I, I know. Royal guards, arm yourselves and prepare to meet the rebel forces in battle. I will be commanding you personally. Your Majesty, but you're the Queen, so much too dangerous. Please, it's not a subordinate to this duty. I will not. It is my indecision that has allowed this rebellion to come this far. I refuse to run from this problem any longer. Lucia. Lucia, I'm sorry. Somehow I promise I will save you. Princess Leanne, Sir Neolucci, this fortress will soon be under siege. What? Somehow the enemy has found out that I'm hiding here. My two fine friends, you must escape. I sing and help Queen Alincia. No, under no circumstances. I won't allow any such thing. I like help, Queen Alincia. Now, now, when my lady makes up her mind, nothing in Tellius can sway her. And me, I'm sure you wouldn't mind having these old bones on the battlefield. Sir Neolucci, honestly, I couldn't... <sighs> Wait until you see me. Even at my age, I'll be once the pet of these freshly hatched whippersnappers. Very well, I must prepare as well. I hope this day would never come. A meaty, the treasured blade of House Crimea will awaken from its long slumber. Bum ba -da -bum -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Okay. See, I want this slightly louder here, actually. There we go. Okay, so I've got those. Alincia does not need the experience. I'm weirdly tempted to train Braum. Which I know makes me wild. I am gonna give Heather her level her level though. Give Nephni a level. I want as many useful units as I can create. Um Braum? Yo, getting some speed is sick. Let's 
can level Mordecai. Can level Leanne. Here you go, Mordecai. And hard, just take the rest of that for me. Um, so last time I played this, my har was too slow to consistently double people, so I'm going to try and fix that. And we're going to watch this. In one moment, I need to... Holy moly, dude. It's so loud in my ears. There we go. That's like a reasonable volume for me now. Whoo, baby. That was blasting my ears out. Khalil, hello. Queen Alincia, a visitor to see you, your majesty. This hour, who could it be? Good evening, Queen Alincia. Khalil, what brings you here? Well, you see, Lady Lucy asked me to give you a hand if you ever find yourself between a rock and a hard place, Your Majesty. She instructed the workers here at Fort Alpea to notify me if they thought that you needed any kind of help. Lucia did? Lady Lucia has been taken, Your Majesty, but I think she'll be fine. Actually, I know she will. She had the brains to set this up in advance, so I know she has a good head on her shoulders. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Khalil. Save the thanks for until after the Duke of Felleray is taken care of. We can hold the party at my place. Uh, sure? Monsieur Har. The soldiers are extremely focused given the Hectum circumstances. They are very well trained. Lucia handpicked each one of them. Lucia and that that official with the curly blonde beard. What was his name? You mean Count Bastian? Yes, that's the one. Bastian, Count of Fair. He's usually considered the premier political mastermind of Crimea, but Lady Lucia is proving to be no slouch herself. Yes, I really don't deserve them. Come on, don't sell yourself short. What do you mean? Loyalty isn't just a personal trait. Most of it hinges on who's calling the shots, what kind of commander you're under. My first commander was only concerned with lining his own pockets. And next was the bad king himself. Man, I don't ever want to go back to regular, regular military duty. But, Shir but Shiharam hadn't... Ugh. If Shiharam hadn't asked me, I wouldn't have stayed so long. But he showed me what a leader could be, someone who makes following seem like the most natural thing in the world. What about in Benyon, leaders in the Apostle Sonaki? Falco Knights report to the Apostle, the Draco Knights to the Senate. Of the two, the Falco Knights seem happier. I've never actually met the Apostle, personally. She sounds like a nice girl, but who knows? I see. But I'm just running on at the mouth. I actually came to give you this. A physics staff. I want you to fight for all of your loyal supporters. Losing your leader is tough, you know. Sir Har, thank you so much. Okay. Actually, I think Bro oh, I can't do Broman Heather. Nephni and Brom, bit of support, you know, old friends. For a second, I thought, can she only support with other women? That would be interesting, but weird. <coughs> oh, excuse me. She does not need that slim sword. <laughs> um, Laguste on Vulnerary Alivi Grass. I'll actually take that. Okay. Give the antitoxin. Take that herb back, probably. So you're the only one without a vulnery. Okay. Give that herb up. She's got two steel axes, an iron axe, and a hand axe. 
pretty good. You need more stuff. I think they like they give me stuff though. Like they're very kind about that. And it's like, do I take another? I'll probably just take the other steel lance as well. Yeah. Uh, you're pretty good. You have a single lagoon stone charge, Har. Har, I'll buy you things. That seems fine. Heather. Uh, you are going to take the steel knife. Then I'm going to buy you some steel daggers. Okay. Steel daggers, axes, throwing axe. Got it. Anything interesting here? Uh, one of those, yeah. That's pretty good. A killer lance is tempting, but I don't really have enough money. Armory. It's the only one he can use, so... My 11, weight 14, and a lower hit. Sometimes that one might is pretty good, though. Har gets a pole axe. A hand axe. And a steel axe. Two of those for Heather. She can't use those. Mmm, that's a problem. How close are you? There be, right? There, she's really close. She'll get there in the fight, I'm pretty sure. Um, other than that, it's all... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the javelins and the lances, to be honest with you. Okay. Anything, like, insanely useful here that I should definitely grab? Not really. That's pretty much it. Okay. We'll save and let's see... how it goes the battle will begin soon I want both of you to promise me that you will fall back if in danger understood fall back your majesty no one can hold a can the speed at which the Raven tribe retreats <laughs> that's a relief reporting sir Fort Alpea's gate is sealed and they are readying their defenses Okay. I see, Lady Lucia must have arranged some way to warn the Queen. But alas, even if they were to have all the energy and luck in the world, the Royal Knights wouldn't arrive for two days. And in any case, there's no way we can lose, considering that we have a card which is yet to be put into the game. Your Majesty, dear news, the rear gate is open and the rebel army is storming in. What? How could this happen? I think you'll understand once you question this man. You guard the inner garden, correct? You scum, you up the rebel army, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did. I did it because it was the best thing for the future of this country. Those Dane murderers killed my entire family, and now their queen bows down and wags her tail at them. It's a disgrace. Silence, you're the traitor here. Prepare to die. Wait, killing this man will do nothing to help our situation. We have to halt Ludwig and his men. They're already inside. I'm going out there, too. Mordecai will fight for you, Queen Alincia. You can count on me, Your Majesty. Queen Alincia, Crimea needs you more than anything, and I reckon you could use my help. My homeland being ruled by a snobby stiff like Ludwig? Please, I don't think so. Your Majesty, we would give our lives to our queen. Allow us to fight. Thank you, everyone. I am indeed the queen of Crimea, and a queen does not hide. Our enemies are fellow citizens of Crimea, but we can no longer sit idle as they destroy the harmony of our nation. Let's go. <clears throat> Could... 
could our situation be any better? Just look at these fragile defenses, as fragile as the Queen's reign. Oh, the Queen's taken command, and ex I expected her to abandon her people, turn tail, and run for the hills. How preciously naive. We shall have to teach her that being overly optimistic can be fatal. Well, let's see how fatal it really is. Everyone's out. Okay. I actually very much want to swap the two of you, I think. And that being slightly risky, I still think is the correct play. Um, you get swapped because Har can move a million miles anyway. Okay. Alencia dies, enemy sees his location. Defend for 15 turns or defeat the boss. Let's do it to it. I usually lose a unit on this map. Oh, I forget Marcia joins like immediately. Queen Alencia, I made it. Marcia, thanks to General Dreffer, we spotted an ambush on the main road and snuck by on the old highway instead. The Royal Knights will be here soon. I flew ahead to tell you and to serve up some traitor pie on my lance. Thank you, I'm impressed you made it back so quickly. My pleasure, your majesty. Now which monkey do you want filleted before the Royal Knights get here? Bum. So the bow gun is extremely scary. So if I take out that unit with a Lincia. The problem is it's gonna require some coordination. Let's do it. Fifty one, but he dies before he gets a chance to counter, which was the goal. Like, literally, the whole point of that move was to kill him before he could counter. You boys got javelins? Now you got steel lances. What's your speed look like? 17, 28 attack, though. God damn. 17 defense on 9? And I double the shit out of you. Even with, like, minus 3 speed, I think I double the shit out of you. Twenty-two. Just yeah. Okay. I destroy you. See, the axe is not ideal for my sweet little Marcia to have to fight. Oh, the doubles are coming out. With that speed wing, y'all. Eight and eight? Sure. Eh. Eh. <laughs> you know, I've had worse turns. I mean, weakening archers is quite good for how I fight on this side, and she missed. That's okay. Now we got our very long turns where I don't do much. And by much, I mean anything. Ooh, that's gonna hurt a lot. Oh, he only, was, he only hit him once? I'm a little amazed that he only singled him. You're gonna take, what? Three turns to get through that door? Oh, two turns. One turn, probably? Someone else probably has a ranged weapon. Ooh, that's good news for me, actually. You love to see it. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. She is not a defensive unit. That's not good. 
I think even if someone gets up there, Neo Lucci's like totally fine though, so. Oh, he doubles him too. This is the world I was hoping for. Giving him that speed wing. Yeah, even if he doubles Neo Lucci, it's fine. And he might not double him. They're pretty slow. When you look at it. Okay, they've got infinite units. We knew this. We knew that they had infinite units. That's a kill. Not a kill, and she's in some danger. A great dodge. And she'll be able to use her steel ones now. So again, then the issue becomes that archer. Oh my god. Can't hit the frickin' broadside of a barn. Okay. Marsha, we need to have a conversation. About you missing shit. A little missing is totally expected. Missing everything is a problem. Like, it means Har has to kill this archer now. Which, again, should be, like, totally fine. But it is annoying. Weakening that guy seems like a pretty good call, actually. I just I have no one to fight this dude. So that gaping wall is definitely a weak point in my defenses currently, but it should be fine. Oh yeah, there are these units that are just going to like kill this guy. We're going to get a different unit up here, which will be fine. Going at him with the mage seemed a little aggressive. Although I guess it would have been nice for that unit to be able to fill that gap. What a player. Okay, so now they're through. That's when that side actually gets a little scary. Did she just take four damage from that? Because if that was actually four damage, that's incredible. Man, they do not like Alincia. Which I like that they don't like Alincia. If I wanted them to target a unit, it would definitely be her right now. Although she's getting lower than I thought she would. I have a plan, though. Like an actual honest-to-goodness plan. It's a lot of units, y'all. The longbows are always an issue. That is enough damage. Now, you 
do four damage. You probably do significantly more. You do eight. Three, and I kill you. Three, and I kill you is pretty good. Oh, and cancel, dude, actually. Cancel is an incredible skill that I forget about. If I can get rid of that guy, that's gravy. YOLO. Ow. She freaking did it, though. She did, like, almost exactly what I needed her to there. See, this is the scary part, actually. She's got 51, she'll have 18 defense, she'll have more defense, she has high avoid. Looks up she won't transform. Yes she will, a Lucas Stone transforms you. You just can't do anything. That was one of those things I had to be real sure of to risk. Okay, why we do Alencia is Alencia can heal Marsha, and then she'll heal herself for having the staff out. Which is pretty much what you want out of that turn, I think. If I can get, like, anyone to waste, uh, waste a round on him, that's pretty good. Oh, he can also just heal Alencia, that makes sense as well. She is the queen. I always forget she's the freaking queen, dude. I'm really hoping that Halbearder can move into range to get attacked for me. He didn't do it. I don't think the big knights can get in there. It's on Laith. Laith has to live here. The miss is great. She's not going to kill the armor knights, which is, I think, what lets her survive this. Also, she can be attacked by, like, four people max. Should have seen that coming. problem now is how do we break that area open? Okay. Nice block. Nice dodge. I mean, that is a fucking... Blockade of units to try and cut my way through right now.
12. Nine and nine is 18. I need at least one of those to hit. With them both hitting, we have a chance to do something here. She can move nine, correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So she should be able to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Because I moved Mordecai here. Because... Get rid of the axe guy because Nefni's gonna have to fight them. Zero hit is pretty good for me. To slowly work on those guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Fifty, fifty. Beautiful. I've not moved Marsha yet, or Kaleem. Um, that guy could be obnoxious. So now we hope that two units kind of filter in there. Yep, this is okay so far. An archer is maybe not ideal in this fucking scrum. But, although now we might be able to get three in. Nice. Gonna take that mage out? Ow. Not quite. That dude got crunched as well. He can probably get hit, but the odds of it happening are pretty dang low. That archer is gonna soak a lot of aggro. He's doing his job, as far as I'm concerned. Getting rid of that mage freeze har up on this side so hard. Hint, <laughs> har, hard. Oh my god, with that mage gone, I could probably send Braum to the other side. To, like, act as a wall. Okay. Jeez. Christ, Har. He's an actual monster on this map, though. The Speedwing did it. Last time I played him on this map, he was not doubling anyone, and it was the slowest, grindiest shit I have ever seen in my life. That one Speedwing changed this whole map. He just owns now. No oh, man, this Halberdier is... Fucking putting in work. Har is also putting in the work right now. He's unstoppable. Four damage? Okay. Rip. Nice. That means she can keep chucking daggers at this dude, actually. So I'd like my cat to get in there and, like, kill a lancer or something. Very busy. Over there. Oh, another mage. Fuck mages, dude.
I would also like him to get in there. Ow. Fuck him up, dude. She takes out the strong axe boy. Then runs away from the archer. Then I, I still vigor her, I think. Just to, like, make sure Nefni gets healed. She just physics Nefni. So that Nefni can't die. Beautiful. Right there is fine. That's a good unit for you to take down, honestly. Fantastic job, bro. Okay, little mage is a bitch. That venom edge could be an issue at some point, but it's not yet, so I'm not worried about it yet. like a pretty good meteor. Oh, Sad boys. I really thought I had a chance on that one. Which I mean, I, I did have a chance. Oh, the heal of that archer. The aggro archer. Nice kill. That lets a halberd? That maybe lets an armor knight in, actually. Yeah, that might let two in. That'd be great. Get some armor up and just be it. Ooh. Hit from the low ground, you absolute buffoon. Okay, it's getting messy in there again. I bet I can kill you. Man, he's really low. <laughs> that mage is gonna make killing that unit risky as shit. No damage. Okay. The mage can definitely hurt me. Oh no. <gasps> the dodges, dude. What a player. Goodbye, my friend. That heal makes sense. It was one of those things where I need to spend a turn using. Well, you need to get the F out. Getting rid of that one is more efficient because it opens up space immediately. Energy drop is not bad either. Oh, Nefni gets in this fight. She wins that fight for sure. 
They are running out of archers. They do not give up easily. You gotta give them that. Defend for 15 turns. It is turn fucking 6. Don't miss. Just beautiful. Just like actually beautiful fighting going on right now. She's going to be really good against those sword units. We're vigoring Alencia and we're gonna see what the fuck happens, I guess. That is the only archer within range. If I just get rid of him... I wouldn't say she's like totally safe, but she's Dang safe. Gotta see if he can fight those guys a bit. At least, like, take him down a peg before the cavalry arrives, literally. Bum, ba -da -dum, bum. 16 damage. Dang, dude. Oh, yeah, and then all of these units are gonna move and they're gonna, like, Cut through this group like a fucking knife through hot butter. Man, the nice thing about that left side is you do not have to be that creative. Har kind of just pops off the whole time. Yeah, I'm like, I don't think he does much damage to these units. But he does more than zero, so... I can actually kill that one. Oh, the healer didn't get himself killed. I really thought that dude would attack Alincia. She is by far the largest threat on that side of the map. Probably on the map. Although Har does come in at a very dangerously close second. He's now poisoned as well. The heals, dude. How irritating can these archers be, actually? Turns out very is the answer. So I can't put Alincia there. She's, like, literally in danger there. Buzz, buzz. And as tempting of a move as that is. Eight. That's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just gonna start chipping with the bronze knife, I guess. The game seems uninterested in allowing me to kill those units, so. Good job, Khalil. You. Just like go handle this guy or something. Good job, buddy. Um, one moment. Bump, 
Okay, we're back. Apologies. Don't miss. I mean, don't miss is literally all you can say in that situation. 10 and 10. We do, like, the same damage to each other. Oh my god, I take you down 10 hit percent? That's wild. You do have a much lower chance of hitting me. Um... And miss. And seven. Man, this is not a great situation. Her having to attack a lance unit is never ideal. No archers anywhere nearby. I'm not that afraid of her being, like, there. Against, what, one lance unit, some sword units, and an axe, un an axe units? Like, right there is not a frightening place for me. Any unit here is in a place that I would consider scary, it would be Nefni. Because of her own mortality. <laughs> you know. She can die kinda quick, she's not super tanky. So he lives with one. The other two die if they attack, so he's dead. I think Neoluchi chases down the strong guy, right? And if things get bad, I Lagoose Stone the turn after. Should be fine, though. Oh, thank you for the nice barricade, actually. Of course, there's a Thunder Mage. And these swordsmen on my deek. I'm actually just amazed that he hit him. There's a lot of sword dudes for one man on a dragon with an axe. Speed, strength, defense, resistance. The resistance is probably the best out of all of those. Or the strength. Am I fucking dead? He missed. What a trash can. You can't hit her. I don't know why you try so consistently. The cavalry's arrived. We'll countercharge their flight. The Royal Knights will succeed again. Indomitable Knights of Crimea, this is the hour you've trained for. Hold the line and run them down. Find Ludwig, Duke of Felleray. Seize him immediately. He must not escape. What a bother. They've read far faster than I had expected, but I will prevail. I won't lose to that worthless queen. Of course, they bring an archer over there like assholes. 30. Only an 80 hit. He's got a 59. Sure. I'll roll those dice, dude.
Never tell me the odds, dudes. Seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We gotta get rid of these archers, they're extremely annoying for like all of my other units. Two and two. I will admit that seems less than ideal. Oh, she did it though. Let's go. That's what you wanna see from someone like Nefni. Gotta use that grass. Vigor Alincia up. She takes out that other archer. I think she's... And she's not in the danger zone from another archer. These are javelins though, right? No. So she's gonna get picked at by that mage. That'll be about it, though. Might as well use the sword, right? I don't need a ton of damage to take that unit out. Might as well weapon triangle my way to victory. Neolucci, that was a job well done. X, Makarov, all yours. Makalov, sorry. I don't know why I called them Makarov. I don't even know any unit named that. You have a steel sword. You're all Joffreys. Should have moved her up one more, but that's okay. That's a really good heal. Except it kind of cuts us off from moving through, but... <laughs> we'll figure it out, I'm sure. I need, like, a mage. Ow! You hit me, you prick! Rude! I was not expecting to be hit there. Extremely bully behavior. Okay. So we're getting a little mage dawn, for sure. Okay. Also poisoned. We've been poisoned. Brom's out here doing his best, though. That's annoying. That miss is crucial. The halberd is missing here would be critical. Nice. Okay. Because she then destroys them, actually. And then it's about who do we send her to? Does she take out a mage or does she take out someone else?
15 attack speed, we got more attack speed. I've got 11 defense. I take like 21. He loses that fight for sure, but. Like you look, he can do zero damage to me, literally. He can do four, nine. You probably just try and get rid of the guy who can do nine damage to you if they get slightly lucky. Of that crossbow or that steel bow. I do one with my javelin. That is definitely not enough to bother. Like, even doing, I don't think. Gonna have you move in a little, I think. That's about as safely as I can set up, because Joffrey's not going to get swarmed. I kind of want you to stop healing him. I need units to be able to get through. Har should be fine. Like, he might need to back out and, like, get a heal. But he can heal himself. He's got items. So, it should not be a big deal. Them coming over here to fight is actually incredible because it opens up, like, my units to actually move. He is going to be envenomed forever, but that's part of life, I guess. The steel blade gave him no chance there. I am trapped unless I kill someone, though, aren't I? Hey, great dodge. Good damage. Man, you know who's gonna destroy that archer in melee? Nefni. Maybe not. Okay, Mordecai, Nefni. Lathe. Okay, let's just get rid of that guy. Head this way for a round. Move Brom there. There. 
bring her over. Like, he's not gonna do this in one, is he? Which means no one here can. Get rid of the archer. I had to believe that he could do it. And that things are somehow going to work out with this. This working out somehow seems less likely. Man, he's going to have me close to dead if he hits me. King Archer, dude. I think we're gonna have to figure it out with that Archer existing. So, I mean, that guy's a Thunder Mage, not a Fire Mage, so he shouldn't even get close to one-shotting Lathe or anything. He actually can't even reach her. Which is really better than I'd, like, dared hope for. That's fine. That man is trapped between a rock and a hard place right now. Okay. I want to say I can't believe it's been an hour. But then, like, it's like, yeah, I totally can believe it's been an hour. Everybody lives. I don't think those guys have much chance of taking that guy out, but... Yeah. Someone will handle that next round. That's good. Well, like, that guy can do it. He's pretty good. Nice. You like getting the miss there. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. 
So I got an archer and a lancer over there, ready to uh, do some business to my boys. Har, do you have a concoction? If not, I'm getting you one, because you freaking need one, dude. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Joffrey. Don't get doubled. Why are there always more archers? Okay. What a goddamn clusterfuck over here. In this moment, we take what we can get. She doesn't double. She doubles, but doesn't kill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is the only unit I can use to kill that archer. And they're like remotely safe, so... damage from this? Holy shit. Homie, it's like a truck. I am concerned for Lave. Like slightly, like not overly concerned, but there's a little bit. Okay, now there's zero? Because she like can't get hit, really? The concern has shifted to Mordecai. 24. They're both fine. There's zero chance either of them gets doubled by it, so they're fine. That's aggressive, but could have been very useful if he'd actually pulled it off. He did it anyway. He one-shot him. Okay. Okay. That heal on Karen is good. If he can get rid of this mage. We might have, like, a clear run to the boss here. Like, killing the healer with how low these units are, if that crosswoman moves, we suddenly have a chance out here, I think. Oh, the crit? 
That's expected. That's fine. We do not concern ourselves with that. Hello, Ludvik. Can Alincia one round him? That's the question of the hour, isn't it? Does Alincia one round Duke Ludvik? I don't think she quite does. Which means we need to get everyone else out of his range. Including maybe Alincia if she tries to fight at all. That is a lot of javelins. Lances, I guess. For an extra. We take seven? 34, 31, so he takes a little bit more. Um, I kind of think he's totally fine. <laughs> right? Like, 7, 10, 13, 20? 20 damage? 21 damage? He lives. He gets a little low, but he lives. He can't reach. Nine times four is not enough. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not quite close enough, am I? No, she'd have to get here. I can't shove her. I can shove her, though. Joffrey, I don't say I believe you're safe. Leave the rest of the battle for trust. Find someplace safe. No, this is my fight. This is my problem. It'll be resolved under my power. Very well, if that's your decision, your majesty. I'm gonna need to double check my math, but I think we have won. Which is why I'm just having people do like clean up crew, basically, but also why he's gonna run away, because I'm not. Nine times four is a lot. It's like 36. He does not kill me in two hits. Get what experience you can. Just one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Easy. So I'm just sending units in to get experience at this point. Nicely done. I mean, her getting that level means that, like, me doing that was worth it. Like, as long as I somehow don't get someone killed. It's all gravy. Oh, I guess that's her brother. That's why they can talk, okay. Muckle of you, lazy piece of shoe leather. What took you so long? The queen is in danger. What can I say? It's not like I could fly or anything. I got here as fast as I could. Man, I think I ever did it. I'm Bush. Maybe I'll just rest a bit. You do, and I'll box your ears clean off. Let's go. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, 
car. Take out your favorite type of unit. I do truthfully love having him just one-shot the unit that's meant to counter him. Queen Alincia, Ludwig. Looking quite gallant, aren't we? Thought you would surely be fleeing by now or pleading for your life. I must commend you on your unexpected bravery. I am the ruler of Crimea. I will not abandon that role. Oh, I see. Self-sacrifice, is it? How very honorable of you. By the way, your majesty, Lady Lucia is often in your company. Wherever could she have gone to? Where is she? Tell me she's safe. Tell me now. Oh my, you look pale. You two grew up like sisters. You must be worried then. Ha, ah, yet another facet of your weakness. She also has the ability to just proc a stun and end it immediately. Yeah, she needs one more hit. You know, I'm about to give it to her. And like, there's zero chance, right? That's experience, though. It's over. It's still over. The math works out with the HP. That scared the shit out of me for a quarter of a second, and then I remembered that it was totally fine. Your Majesty, be merciful. Spare our lives. We surrender our weapons. Got a tomahawk. That's the end. Whoo, baby. Queen Alincia, I'm so glad you're safe. Please forgive my tardiness. I have let you down. I'm sorry. Ridiculous, you did no such thing. Joffrey, thank you so much. So, what of the rebel army? Without Ludwig at the helm, they're a mess. They're all running about trying to escape. As commanded, we're not pursuing fleeing soldiers, and Lord Ludwig is locked up in the dungeon. Queen Alincia, Lucia is being held captive. If we're to save her, we need to talk to him. True. Your Majesty General, we've received a missive. It concerns Lady Lucia. Queen of Crimea, we demand that you release the Duke of Felleray. Refuse, and Lady Lucia will die. No. Lucia. You've half a mark. If the Duke is not released by then, the girl dies. Queen Lincia, don't listen to them. Don't worry about me. Ugh. Quiet. You can die sooner if you like. Your Majesty, you can't. You have to let me do something about this. Lucia would willingly die fighting for her country, I know. But you have to help her. Alincia, if you were in her position, she would surely do the same. Please, just give the word. Hello, your majesty. By the look on your face, I can see my plan has been a success. What exactly is it that you want? To throw our country into chaos? No, I want to protect it, your majesty. What? Queen Alincia, you're so naive. Cold and callous decisions are sometimes required of a nation's ruler. I was testing you. We all wanted to know if our queen would have the power to stop a civil war. But no, you were too hesitant and too concerned about harming the people. Now look what has happened. The rule of Crimea cannot be kept in your hands. Please, your majesty, you must abdicate and cede the crown to me. And considering Lady Lucia's life is on the line, you haven't much choice. Now, let's have you free me from this prison cell and we can discuss any further details. I don't think so. What, are you truly willing to sacrifice Lady Lucia? Lord Ludwig, all of your all your dissatisfaction and misgivings about me are well-founded. However, do you realize how many lives you've simply thrown away? Strength without compassion does not a ruler make. You care nothing for the people, sir. You cloak your desire to rule with pretty speeches, but it is petty avarice nonetheless. So, this is how it shall be. Very well. But Lady Lucia cannot be spared without my order. Allowing you to plant the seeds of rebellion and play havoc with the lives of my people is a failure for which I must answer. But I will see Crimea through this trial. I will give my people the future they deserve, no matter the cost. <laughs> well played, your majesty. 
Indeed, I have failed. Yet I wonder, are you capable of watching Lucia die? Or will you crawl back to me, your face washed with tears, begging for mercy? How I pray to see that face, your majesty. Rebel soldiers, here I may, Ludvik of Felleray, having conspired against the nation, will stand trial. As the queen and ruler of Crimea, I refuse to negotiate with those bent on destroying it. So you're going to let this girl die? Ha! I will be strong, Lucia. K kick, scream, beg. Give us a show, wench. Your highness, your trusted friend will now die. Let this burn forever in your memory. People of Crimea, behold a true queen, your queen. Long live Queen Alincia. I love this scene. I'm going to mute and just let it play out, though. Clean shot. <laughs> What's the problem? I'm nervous. What have I hit her? It's too late for nerves, Rolf. If you're not up to it, just leave it to the master, eh? Watch and learn. One clean motion. No hesitation. I love this because it's kind of realistic to how the Grail mercenaries feel fighting other groups of enemies. They're all just fucking monsters. Queen Alincia, it's Sir Ike and the Grail mercenaries. They came to our aid. Now we'll get Lucia back in one piece. We have nothing more to worry about. I'll deploy my knights at once. <sighs> my dog is very angrily barking outside. And the little dog in the room might start barking. I apologize if that happens. Sir Ike, if you hadn't come to help, I would have lost one of my dearest friends. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. We were happy to do it. And Bastion pays well for mercenary work. Bastion? Yes, the kind of fair knew about Ludvik's plotting before he left for Dane. Bastion guessed that he left the country, the rebels would feel confident enough to make their move. What else would you expect from Crimea's top tactician? Well, Crimea's most susceptible dog, at any rate. Yes, that's just like him. Sorry we had to stay hidden until the last minute. For a ruse like that, Torque, you have to deceive allies as well as enemies. I know you're acting. I know you were acting in Crimea's best interest, but I'm sorry you had to let that happen to Lucia. No, what the? No, it worked out fine in the end. Please put it out of your mind. Lucia, Joffrey, I value your lives more than even my own, but it's my duty to protect this country, even if it means losing you. Ebony, downstairs, if you're gonna bark. I've learned a lot from all of this. I hope to keep them out of harm's way, and I'll never make the same mistakes again. Good to hear. So what are you going to do about all the escaped rebel soldiers? The rebel army will be eradicated. We cannot allow them to sow the seeds of discontent among the people of Crimea. 
That's the right choice. Would you consider contracting my mercenaries for the job? No, Sarek, I'll leave that up to the Royal Knights. I'm certain this task will create anger among the people, and the Royal Knights may be resented for their role in it. But my duty as Queen demands that it be done. The people have to learn to accept that. I respect your devotion to duty, so you don't need me then? That's right, I'm going to move on. Together with my vassals and the people of this country. Sir Ike, before you leave, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? When you heard from Bastion, did he say anything about Dane? No, nothing. He informed me of a number of things. Apparently, Dane's reconstruction is paling out much like crime is. He spoke of a new king raising the banner of war and a charismatic young hero carrying it into battle. He compared King Peleus to me and a silver-haired maiden to you. It's almost unnatural. He suspected that someone might be scheming, trying to manipulate Dane. Bastion seemed quite suspicious of it all. Sebastian went to Dane to try and confirm his suspicions on that. Yes, there was also something about Dane's resurrection that we cannot afford to overlook. The Black Knight. What? I'll never forget him. He was the one warrior who the late King Ashnar trusted. Encased in pitch black armor, standing tall with a crimson cape. When the Liberation Army fought at the capital, he was there. He sided with the silver-haired maiden. The Black Knight, the man who killed my father. But I defeated him three years ago, I'm sure of it. At the very least, he couldn't have escaped when Nado's castle came crashing down on him. The day after you fought, Bastion ordered some men to search the remains of Nado's castle. There was no trace of the Black Knight, no armor, no sword, no corpse. If the Black Knight that was seen in Dane was indeed the same Black Knight, he might prove to be a threat to Crimea. Hmm, if he's still alive, I have no doubt I'll see him again. Elincius is very important information for me. Thank you. Of course. Alfin, it's okay up there, buddy. Okay, my other dog's gonna start barking. So I'll let you listen to this without me for a moment. The great war begins, one that threatens to tear the land asunder. A hero sides with the Lagoos and justice. The Maiden of Dawn fights for the Bjork and Dayan. Their armies will collide while the flames of the medallion burn brighter. Part three, intersecting bows. Okay, the inside dog has maybe stopped barking. Clear bonus, friendly army fought. Good job, friendly army. Thanks for hanging out. Long episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Didn't lose any units on this endgame. That's good. Well, I'll see you next time. Peace.